It's another day's journey and I'm so glad it's another day's journey and I'm so glad it's another day's journey and I'm so glad and the world can't do me no harm I'm gonna beat the devil running and I'm so glad I'm gonna beat the devil running and I'm so glad I'm gonna beat Another day's journey and I'm so glad it's another day's journey and I'm so glad it's another day's journey and I'm so glad and the world can't do it no harm and the world can't do me no harm Ken Whiteley ladies and gentlemen Ken Whiteley Ken, um, what concert were you in? I think I asked you something similar to this last time, but what concert were you in where you were just, like you felt the crowd overwhelmingly energize you? Do you remember? It was just, I know that happens fairly regularly yeah, for you. Yeah. but uh, I, mean, I, I was I was in in Kingston earlier this month and, and, and felt that and... Uh, I was down in New York State uh, this month and and felt that. But how do you? But what do you say to, to artists when it comes to breaking down the fourth wall? Is, is there any advice you give to to an artist to, that? Because there are some artists that are up on stage and you don't feel connected with them, and there are others that you feel it right away. Well, I think you you know feeling connected oneself. You know that we, I was. Uh, you know, talking briefly about yoga, about bringing yourself into balance, but but that's but that in a sense is an expression of it, where you're you want to 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 just. I mean, I often speak. You know, when I speak to younger musicians, you know, who want to know, um, you know, a little bit of advice or something like that. And so often with performance, the the key is what I call relaxed intensity. You know, really being present, really bringing yourself to that moment, right. but not being like hyper and scattered. You've got to be relaxed. You've got to be just kind of, you know, just kind of there and present and and feel that connection that's running through you and and you know from the people in the audience to you and from you to them yeah. and and to uh, you know to a higher power through all of us. You know, so that you feel all of that. In that moment, Ken. How about another tune? Can we get another? Sure, tune? I'll do the tune that that when you said about tr worries and stuff like that. What do you do about worries? So here's a song about worries, and the chorus goes: "Too much trouble, too much trouble, too much trouble today." Got it. Here we go. Sometimes trouble comes knocking. Sometimes we invite him in. Sometimes it seems to come from nowhere. A game you just can't win. Today when I wake up and face the dawn I need some way to carry on Take a deep breath Take my time Shaking this pain within Too much trouble Too much trouble Too much trouble Sometimes simply our circumstance Makes it hard to know what to do Isn't that right, Drew? Like those old family letters My mother left me That box of her old jewelry, too We cling to the past Our past clings to us Till the whole thing's buried in a pile of dust Well, sure we can clean Surely we must But we keep taking on something new Too much trouble too much trouble, too much trouble today. Now, 
trouble can come in the shape of a girl, but the trouble really starts in your mind. Trouble can come when you're lonely, desperate for someone to find. As for me and the fix I'm in, finding a way to bear and grin, to let it all go and let the light come in, leave this old trouble behind. Too much trouble. Too much trouble, too much trouble today. Once more, everybody. Too much trouble, too much trouble, too much trouble today. Ken Whiteley. Ken Whiteley, what an absolute gem you are. Live in the studio with Ken Whiteley. His website is KenWhiteley.com, KenWhiteley.com. Ken, song, what are we doing? He's ready. He's on it. Like you were in the lion's den just yesterday then you know what you got to do in that moment what's, what's that kid say lord come by here Ed Whiteley, live on the Drew Marshall Show. 
the consummate entertainer is what you might call this man. Um, when you were a kid, did you want to be uh, like a fireman or a police officer? Or I, I thought about teaching, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I, in fact, it was the last year in Ontario you could go directly from high school do one year of teacher's college Whoa. and and teach. And so <coughs> at the age of 20 years old, I found myself in the largest inner city city school in, in Toronto, in Flemington Park School up in Lawrence Heights. And there were six grade one classrooms in that school. There's like 1,300 kids in this elementary school. Yeah. And, uh, and they gave me all the kids they thought would most benefit from having a male teacher in grade one. So they gave you all the sweat hogs, did they? I had. The meatheads. I had. It was, it was chaos, frankly. It was chaos in, the, in, those, uh, in that class. I have to admit, the only, my only threat that would, was effective at all was I could threaten not to have music. That, and then they would kind of settle down for a few minutes. But, but those were back in the day. Oh, that those, was back in the day when you could give them a little whack and tell them to shut I up, did not, didn't you? No, you, no, no. I, I was in a school, <laughs> and the reason they hired me it was a school where the philosophy was, you know, you know, you, these kids need love. You've got to oh, give them yeah. a hug. One you of know? those schools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and and, and yeah. that was very true. But also, you know, I mean, the the board psychologist came in and says, "Well, of your twenty four kids, there's six here. I really should be seeing on a regular basis." But uh, you know, I mean, that, a yeah. quarter of the kids were 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 messed up uh, quite seriously, and the rest were at least economically disadvantaged and. And so within uh, four months, I'd retired from teaching, <laughs> and I'd been playing music. I mean, I'd been, been a professional musician since I was 14, yeah. and, and I, I couldn't have made the decision right out of high school to say, that's what, I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to play music. I, that's what I'm going to do. A year and a half later, and, and the other thing was I'd never really failed at anything. I'd always been successful, you know, did well in school for the most part, and, you know, so it was it was a big um, kind of rethink, really, to, to to do something and then not be successful at it, and and part of I know part of the problem was that I that I went in there with this expectation these kids need so much help they need yeah. so, so much love there's you know they have so many problems, and I kind of bore the weight of their shoulders and I, what I didn't realize that. In many ways, teaching has a lot more in common with performance than it does with social work, and uh, sure, well, look and, at you know, so it, so it would be much more effective, really, to just go on, put on a show, bang, yeah. bang, bang, and that would actually benefit the kids more because, on a you know, f for the five hours that you're with them, you can't deal with the needs of the real and profound needs of 24 people. And so, you know, you have to, it's actually more beneficial for them to just keep things kind of rolling in a kind yeah. of smooth way. I thought I would uh, fly away here with a little uh, two wings. I've got two wings for my feet, two wings for my heart, two wings for my soul. This will set you up for the yoga class, right? Yes, sir. Uh, It'll, uh, it, because, you know, it, 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 uh, there, there you go. Your feet representing the physical body, your yeah. heart representing the energetic and emotional. Don't you get all chakra on me. For my feet, two wings. For my heart, two wings. For my soul, never will be my home. I've got two wings. For my feet, two wings. For my heart, two wings. For my soul, never will be my home. With sun and moon and stars above, we owe it all.
Oh!